Hey guys, back at you with uh, some more of my Spyderco knives. This right here is my Cricut. Um, it's probably my favorite Spyderco knife, at least the top three. I just love it. It's a perfect little EDC knife, and in a tight situation, I guess you could be a tactical knife, but that's not the reason I carry my knives. You know, I hope I'm never in a situation where I have to defend my life, but, you know, we'll see what happens when it happens. Um, this is one of the most heavily... Um, variated, if that's a word, Spyderco knife. There's been a lot of variations on it. And uh, it started way back in 1994. Sal wanted a knife that it was inspired by the, uh, you know, stones in a river being washed over by the water time after time until it was just a smooth, you know, um, very smooth, and also was influenced by the um, yin yang symbol, as I'm told. Started back, but anyway, it started back in 1994 with this version. It's a tough from coated aluminum knife, very, very light. Um, it's probably it's the thickest cricket version out there, and just the machine work is just beautiful, as you can see. Very, very nicely polished, very tight tolerance. Now, this is the uh, first generation Cricut. It's got Gen 1 steel, Gingenheim, I believe, Gingenheim 1 steel. Um, and uh, all the length of all these knives are the same. They're 1 and 7 8 inch blade, and overall length of 4 and 5 8 inches. Um, like I said, this is the tough from coated aluminum version. It's a liner lock knife. Very, very nice liner lock. I mean, it just clicks into place with authority. Nice black clip. Very, very large um, lanyard loop for such a small knife. Um, I don't carry these ones. I carry this one and this one, and I took the clips off for that reason. Because if that's just the way I like to carry my uh, crickets, because they're so small. But, um, so this was the, uh, tough from coated aluminum version from 1994 to 1997. And in, um, 1998, it came out with the FRN version. And this was discontinued in 2003. And this is probably my favorite one. It's got the ATS-55 steel. FRN handle, and with m m all older spider code knives with the FRN, it's only on one side. Don't know why they did that, but maybe it had to do with the pocket clip ripping your pocket, but I'm not sure. But it's got the uh, old FRN um, pattern, only on one side. Liner lock knife, but this one is considerably thinner, as you can see. It's a little bit thinner. And the blade shape... This is a more long. This one's a little fatter. I don't know if you can... Probably can't tell, but this one's a little fatter on the FRN. And this one is uh, Phillips head construction. And this one is pinned. So you can't adjust... I'm sorry, they're both Phillips head. Yeah. So you can adjust them, but the pivot cannot be adjusted. So I've got two of these. One is a user and one is a for my collection. Um, I took the clip off this one. It's a user. And in, uh, they did a sprint run in um, 1999. They released carbon fiber versions of a few of their knives. Carbon fiber ladybug, carbon fiber dragonfly, which I also have, carbon fiber cricket, and carbon fiber delica. And actually a carbon fiber uh, civilian as well, I believe. Um, this one is based on the uh, body of the uh, Tuffram version. I believe they're both the same thickness. This again has the ATS-55 steel. It's got the slick carbon fiber as opposed to the uh, textured on the um, Sage. This one is more along the lines of the uh, native carbon fiber. It's a cool knife. It's a serrated version and a liner lock and this one 
It's got a, I love that clicking sound it makes. I just love... I love that. <laughs> and this goes back to the blade shape on the top from version as well. The blade shape is the, is the thin, line, a thin blade shape. And lastly, um, in 2003 till now, they came out with this stainless steel version, which I don't have, but I do have the etched version, which was released in 2007 and uh, discontinued uh, early this year. Acid etched version. Um, all these knives are hollow ground, as you can see. And this is frame lock design, which is awesome. Clip has been removed. And this is so thin. It's half the size of the Tough Room version. Or any of the versions for that matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost half as small. You can fit two of these inside of the uh, earlier crickets. Really thin profile. Weighs next to nothing. Perfect EDC knife. Really great frame lock so I just love this little knife man it's just such a cool little knife perfect EDC knife you know I work in a restaurant I cut boxes open a lot Cajun Blaze you know all about the restaurant business cutting boxes open uh, um, plastic tie wrap and anything that I can uh, <laughs> get my little hands on the cut you know I'll cut cut open a bread bag if I, if I have to just to use my knife but it works it excels in that just because of that uh, little hook hook beak just grabs onto anything so these are my Cricut knives and um, just wanted to share them with you and if you get a chance pick up pick up one of these knives you will not be disappointed you know I, I was not interested in these knives when I first got into a spider coat but um after a while, it just, it, I picked one up, and as you can see, I got kind of carried away. It's just, it's the perfect knife for me. So, and it's the perfect knife for you. So, y'all take care now, and I'll be back soon with some more videos for you guys. Be safe.